What's going on, guys? So I want to kind of do a little bit of a training uh, video here for you guys. Um, a day like today where we do get a little bit of a dead cap bounce, uh, especially in a bear market, especially in a down market, I want to show you why, you know, having a bias when it comes to being able to day trade options and uh, day trade stocks, it doesn't really matter what what, what your, your forte is, whether that be stocks or, or equities. But one thing that I want to kind of point out to you, let's say this is your first time on my channel you guys don't really know too much about me you guys don't know the the way that i trade the stocks that i trade even if none of that matters if none of that on my screen makes sense with all of the supply and demand zones with all the crazy uh funny lines that you see on there um you know even if that it doesn't make sense to you i, I kind of want to show you like why a day like today when you get an aggressive dead cat bounce why you should have been making money um and then i kind of want to point out to you why on a day like today you are not making money um, so let's go ahead and start with why you're not making money. You're not making money today due to the fact that you don't trust the market, right? I agree with you 100%. I don't trust the market as well, but that doesn't mean that we're not able to make money long or short in this market. Um, another reason that you're not making money is because you don't have a strategy. You don't have a system. You don't understand technical analysis. You don't understand where these stocks can stop. You don't understand where they can potentially go. I get it. Um, if you guys are looking for a trading strategy, go down to the description uh, uh, down below. Uh, sign up for a lifetime membership access. Uh, I'll one-on-one -on -one coach you, mentor you, um, do live voice chats with you, live intraday so we can kind of go over these plays as they're setting up. You'll also get access to two of my courses where you guys can kind of understand how I'm setting up my charts, this, that, and the other. Um, with that being said, I'll just do something very, very simple for you. I'll take off all of these lines. You can just kind of see these. All these are supply and demand zones here. You can see we got this pop, and where do we stop? We stopped right here at 218 on NVIDIA. Then what was our next area that we kind of came into here? We kind of came into 222, and then once we you know got over 223, we had potential to 227, and look kind of where we stopped at 227, 228. Touched it multiple times, multiple times, multiple times, right? So even if you don't understand those levels, I'll just go ahead and clear this drawing set for you guys. Uh, nice clean chart here. Nothing on my chart, right? Uh, not too many indicators, not too many moving averages. I only have two moving averages, and those moving averages that I have is the 20 and the 200 the 200 being yellow and the 20 being purple so let's kind of get into you know what exactly i'm seeing here and why you should have been making money on a, on a day like today as the market opens up here at 6 30 a.m we get an initial washout here but we can also see that going right here at right around 6 50 a.m we see a cross of the 20 over the 200 this is going to give us some bullish momentum here we also see we get a first close over the 20 period moving average all you essentially would have needed to do was wait for this to happen 15 20 minutes of the day put a little price level here two uh, 216 dollars and 50 cents tell yourself hey you know what we are trading over supply we're trading over the five minute uh 20 sma we're trading over the five minute 200 sma if this continues to go higher i'm going to get long in the stock we're obviously over pre-market highs we're obviously had a little bit of pullback we've obviously had a change in direction now what is stopping you from taking this trade the only thing that's going to stop you from taking this trade to the long side is because you're thinking that we're going to sell off. It's because you're thinking that, you know, we're in a bear market. It's because you don't trust the market. Of course, I agree with you, but this, just because we don't trust the market, does that mean that we can't take part and participate in a, in a scalp to the long side? Absolutely not, right? Money doesn't sleep. Money doesn't matter. The market doesn't care if you think we're going lower. The market doesn't care if you think we're going higher. The market doesn't care if we've hit a bottom. The market doesn't care if we're going to put in another leg lower. All the market cares about is what the market is going to do. And, and you know, when you really focus on what's going on right in front of your face, rather than taking all of these outside factors into account, you know, what's going on in Russia? What's going on with oil prices? What's going on with the Fed meeting tomorrow? What's going on with, um, you know, uh, the triple Qs or, or what's going on with the spy? You know, what's going on with interest rates? When you start taking all of those other factors into account, it starts to play mind tricks on you and it doesn't allow you to have a clear mind and be able to take a setup like today. Essentially, $216.50 should have been your indication to go ahead and get long. Uh, reclaiming the 20 period moving average here, all we need is confirmation over that and then we can get long. Now you tell yourself, you know, well, what if the market decided to pull back? Well, what if the market decided to pull back? Uh, we would exit the trade on a close below the 20, but being that the 200 is so close, I would have waited for a close below the 200. 
that would clearly tell me that price action and the momentum died out. Uh, you know, it's time to exit the trade. Literally, you could have taken this trade set up here right around 655, 25 minutes after the market opened, um, and essentially been in this trade all the way until around 940 a.m. So just about three hours later, right? Um, normally, when I am scalping options or, or stocks or, you know, looking to day trade, I'm looking for two to three pushes higher over my entry. So if this is my entry candle here, because we had a change in momentum over the 20 period moving average, what I'm looking for here is two to three pushes higher over my entry. So if my entry is going to be somewhere around 216.50, give or take a little bit of slippage, uh, and this is my entry candle, I'm looking for two or three pushes over my entry candle. So if this is higher than my entry candle, definitely this is one push. This is a little bit of consolidation and a pullback. And then we have our second push and then our third push takes us here into 221.86. And if you are scalping and you get a three, four, five point move in a matter of 20, 30 minutes on the stock, and let's just actually see if this is our entry, five, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes. So you could have essentially taken profits here at two pushes over your entry or here three pushes over your entry now you might be sitting there and thinking well you know the stock went higher i i would have made more money if i held you know what well guess what the stock could have also trickled around sideways and then had a nasty rug pull and came all the way back down uh, below your entry and you could have lost as well that's the name of the game we're not in here to catch the whole move I'm going to tell every single trader now that all of this money in here is not your money. Your money is finding the proper setup and taking two or three pushes higher. Now, whether you take two, three, four, five, ten contracts on this, if you wanted to, let's say, for example, you took five contracts of NVIDIA and you took them down here, I would be scaling out on here, maybe take one or two contracts, lock in some profits. I would take another contract here. If you wanna wait for the next red candle to form and then take your last bit of profits, I would take it here. If you wanted to just wait one more candle, I would have taken it here. If you wanted to just you know sell all four contracts and just leave one till break even or to the moon, then definitely you would still be in this trade now and up a pretty penny on this, but just know that if we do lose the 224.43, I would exit that trade as that would be taking out all of this level of you know uh, under the 20 and the levels of support here just want to get out you know you don't want to go turn a winning trade into a losing trade but definitely you could have been in this trade essentially all day so the only question that I have for you is why were you not making money today if you made money today fantastic you did your job I hope you turned the computer screens off and you kind of went about your day did your thing uh, you know, enjoy the rest of your day, you know, because that's really what it's all about. Uh, trading is really all about freedom. It's not about sitting here at the computer for, you know, 17 hours a day and trying to catch every single move. It's trying to catch one or two moves and being able to have that time freed up so you can do the things that you actually want to do in life. Because, you know, if you really think about it, what is life if you're not really living life, right? If you're, if you're kind of just, you know, a slave to the charts, you're a slave to the market, you're a slave to your nine to five, you're not really living life. Uh, the main thing when it comes to, you know, being able to, uh, you know, trade is, is having that time and having that freedom. So definitely this could have been a one and done trade. It would have been a fantastic trade. I actually did scalp it a little bit, could have held it a little bit longer. I took on, you know, two pushes higher, but I did take three, four contracts. I think actually, um, on the video, I took the three contracts. So I only took three contracts on this. Didn't make too much, made about $380 on this play. Not too much, but I also did take two other plays. I caught Amazon to the long side as well as Tesla. So, you know, you know, a $300 play here, $400 play here, another $400 play here, three for three on the day. And, you know, sitting at over a $1,000 uh, profits for the day is, is efficient for me. I'm not trying to make a million dollars today and I'm not trying to make $20,000 today. If I can make, you know, $500, $1,000 in a day, three, four, five times, uh, three or four times a week, you know, it, like, what what more do you ask for? I mean, what more can you really ask for? Um, you know, and as your account grows and as your experience level gets higher, you just increase your size. So maybe that three hundred dollar winner, you know, six months from now is now a six hundred dollar winner, uh, and then and then you know years time from now the six hundred dollar winner turns into a twelve hundred dollar winner. So you can really start to see how those gains can start to compound as you get as your level of experience goes a little bit higher and as you get more comfortable seeing these plays and being able to take these plays. But this play on the video here was, is uh, picture perfect, um, worked out to a T. There was no thought process that went into this. It, this required no skill level. All it required was having a strategy, following your strategy, and it worked out perfect. This is what you would consider a home run trade. Um, definitely, if you guys are looking to learn how I trade, join my Discord. That link is down in the description box below. If you guys want to get some me uh, mentorship, maybe you guys want to get access to my two video courses where I kind of go in depth on how I trade and what I trade and 
what you should be looking for, definitely go to evolutiontraders.com, become a lifetime member, uh, get access to the private feed, get access to the to the signals, get access to being able to talk to me uh, each and every single day when the market is, is playing out live. We can do voice chat, we can do chat, we can do whatever you want. Um, really here to help you guys. I'm a full-time day trader and options trader. So, you know, looking at charts and throwing out my ideas to you guys is, is nothing additional that I need to do. Um, it's not like something I need to go out of my way for. With that being said, definitely do not forget to subscribe to my video. Also give me a thumbs up on this video. Uh, I hope to see you guys in Discord. I hope to see you guys in uh, the video course library going through and studying, um, you know, but let, let's, you know, let's make a 2022 a very, very good year. Now, you know, for investors, maybe not so much. For us day traders, we should be able to capitalize on this volatility. Uh, and then when the market really does get trending, whether that be bull or bear, we can also make money there as well. So until next time, guys, I'm going to see you guys all in the next training video.